What's up, Northside? Enrique here with Technology Training and Development. And today, I'm going to go over a quick tutorial on how to set up and how to use the AirMix Solo app. So let's get started. Hello, everybody. Have you been looking for an application to live stream an event? My name is Enrique from Technology Training and Development, and today I will be covering the setup and the use of the AirMix Solo app. In order for us to use this app today, we will be using the YouTube live streaming service. For you to use the YouTube live streaming service, you need to make sure that your channel is set up. If you need help, visit this link right here for YouTube channel support. Let's get to it. To start, sign into YouTube with your NISD Google account. In the top right hand corner, click the camera icon, then click Go Live. In your YouTube Studio page, click Schedule Stream. Then click Create New. In the New Stream window, create a title for your stream. Make it public, add a brief description, then select a date and time. In the audience section, mark it appropriately, then click create stream. From here, the new live event will be added to your studio. Click on the new live event and in the top right hand corner, click the gear icon. This will open up your stream settings. On the left hand side, click the live chat tab to disable your live chat and disable your live chat to replay. Click save and as you can see, the live chat feature will be removed. Now you can click on your share arrow. By clicking on the share arrow, this will give you access to the URL link that you can share with your audience as you see fit. Now in order to seamlessly integrate the AirMix Solo app, you will enable your auto start and auto stop feature as seen in the video. Now that your event is scheduled and set, Let's head over to that AirMix Solo app, but keep this web page open for further reference in the video. Before we get further into the video, I'd like to highlight that the AirMix Solo app is only available on an iOS device, such as your iPhone or your iPad. Now for the sake of this video, I used a staff issued device. However, a student device will work the same. To download the application from your home screen, tap the App Store icon. In the bottom right hand corner, tap the search button. This will bring up the App Store search bar. In the search bar, type in AirMix Solo. Then tap search from the on-screen keyboard. And this will bring up the AirMix Solo application for download. Tap the download icon and wait for the application to install. Then begin the initial app setup. So you've downloaded the application. You've set up your YouTube streaming event. Now it's time to set up that AirMix Solo app. From your home screen, tap the AirMix Solo application icon. To begin, you'll grant permission to the application to use your camera, your microphone, your location, and all of your photos and videos on your device. Simply tap the OK button for all of the access prompts. Now that you've granted full access to your device, you will set up communication between the application and your YouTube streaming event. In the Select Your Destination box, select Custom RTMP. Scroll down, then select RTMP again. This will open up a Custom RTMP user interface that you will input a URL and a stream key from the web page you kept open from earlier in the video. At this time, let's go back to the YouTube Streaming Event web page. In the bottom left hand corner, you will find your stream URL and your stream key to be used in the custom RTMP GUI interface of the AirMix Solo application. It is important 
that you ensure that the stream URL and the stream key both match exactly or else the application will not communicate with the YouTube streaming event. In order to see the stream key, you can click the eyeball as shown in the video. After inputting your URL and stream key, tap done in the top right hand corner to apply your settings. And that's it. You're all set and ready to start streaming. But before we tap that go live button, let's take a quick tour of the control functions of the AirMix Solo application. Your application should look similar to what's on the screen. To access the features, you'll swipe down for broadcast controls, you'll swipe up for source controls, you'll swipe right for sources, and you'll swipe left for overlays. In order to add your iOS camera, swipe right for sources, tap add new source, then tap iOS camera. To make your camera the main feed, tap the camera display from the list of sources. Now that you got your camera set up, you can swipe left to add an overlay. An overlay can be used to add text or a scoreboard to your main camera. Press the Add a New Overlay box for a list of options. In order to access your source controls, swipe up from the bottom. This will give you access to turning on and off your microphone and switching your camera angles. Finally, to access your broadcast controls, swipe down from the top to access your Go Live button as well as your settings button to manage any broadcast destinations. Now that you've got your controls, your overlays, and your sources set, it's time to start streaming. Because you enabled your auto start feature on your YouTube streaming event, you can simply tap the go live button in the top right hand corner of the AirMix Solo app. This will immediately start your event streaming. In order to check the health of your stream, you can monitor the event in your live studio. Your live feed will be displayed, but due to the encoding process, there will be a 30 second delay, which is normal when streaming live events. When your event has concluded, double tap the home button on your iPad. Find the AirMix Solo app preview and swipe up to close the app. And by doing so, you'll engage the auto stop feature of your streaming event. And that's it. Congratulations, you've just completed your first streaming event with the AirMix Solo app. Now I know what you're thinking. Do I have to do this every single time I want to stream an event? The answer is no. To stream another event, you can simply use the same stream settings from a previous event. You'll redo all the same steps to schedule a live stream. From YouTube, camera icon, go live, schedule stream. When you get to the new stream with last use settings dialog box, select the event you want to reuse, then click the reuse settings. This will open a new stream window. In the new window, you can change the name of the event, change the description, and also change the date and time. Click Create and your new event will be scheduled in your live studio with all the same settings as before. Now share the link from the event you just created and all you have to do is go live from your AirMix Solo app. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and happy streaming.